and she's tricking them to run off the cliff. They're all chasing her, and then she stops. She doesn't go off the cliff. They go off the cliff. All right, today I'm checking out the flies. I'm listening to the song, Got You Where I Want You. Let's get into it. Okay, we're about to change gears here. So far, the song has been pretty mild, I was thinking. It kind of sounds like mild grunge, you know what I'm saying? Not very extreme grunge or anything, just like, you know what I'm saying? It, it, I, if I had to guess the genre, I'm guessing grunge. But then the feel of the song is very mellow. It's chill, it's like, hey, got you where I want you. So that's what I'm saying, mild grunge. It's not like a crazy grunge vocal style that can be very extreme. You know what I mean? And then, uh, lyrically, I think it's just about he likes this girl, right? I don't know why the music video is kind of tripping me up a little bit. Why was everyone chasing this one girl that he's talking about, I got you where I want you? I don't know. But I'm thinking it's a love song. That's that's why it's kind of like, hey, it's kind of relaxing, kind of vibey. Because it's a love song about the one girl that he has right where he wants her. That's an interesting phrase. I wonder what he means. It's like, their relationship is in a good spot. Their friendship is in a good spot for him to accelerate it and turn it into a relationship maybe something like that
the melody at the end, I really like that. That something like that. I'm losing it. I'm losing the melody after watching the outro, but that's why I said it in real time because I know I can't reproduce these things effectively. But sometimes I do good enough for you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, I like that melody at the end. The music video was the confusing part. The song probably would have been less confusing without the music video. It was cool, but it's like, dang, why is everyone jumping off this cliff? And then when the girl pushed the two guys off the cliff, I was like, dang, she killed them. That's what I was thinking. Because remember, that was the first half of the song when it was two dudes and she just pushed them both. I thought she literally was a murderer or something. And I'm like, wait, he's got her where he wants her. It sounds like a relationship song. She also just killed dudes. So maybe all the other guys who like her, she's killing them. And she's tricking them to run off the cliff. They're all chasing her. And then she stops. She doesn't go off the cliff. They go off the cliff. And I'm like, dang, so that's what the song is about. Like, you got this murderous girl who kills every dude who likes her except you. You got her where you want her. And then by the end, I learned they were just going swimming. They were cliff jumping, cliff diving. You know what I mean? They're, they're just going swimming. It wasn't, it wasn't about murder at all. So there's no murder in this relationship. But either way, the guy likes the girl. He's got the girl where he wants her. And that's why he's singing in that, you know, Philly kind of vibey voice. When the rapping came in, I had no clue what they were saying. It sounded slightly hip hop -y, slightly reggae. You know what I mean? Does that mean this song is like new metal is metal and rap? Does that mean this is like new grunge? And I could just be airballing about the grunge at all. It might not be grunge, but is it new grunge if it's grunge and rapping? Like reggae rapping? I don't know. What are you guys thinking? What for, first of all, is this grunge? That's my first question. And secondly, what in the world was going on in this music video? I don't know. Tell me, man, what do you know? What do you know? Me and my boys on the road. Who to go? She told me, boy, you to go. Like, I don't know. But I don't know. 